Good morning, everyone. So today is Thursday the 13th. Um, Tony and I are flying to San Diego later on today. Um, I'm really excited and really nervous. Uh, this is the biggest meet of the year, or one of them anyways, and it's only my fourth powerlifting meet. Um, and I'm going to be sharing the platform with the best lifters in the world. So I uh, tend to put a lot of pressure on myself and um, try to expect like a lot out of myself, but I just have to remember to do what I know I can do, be smart with my attempts, and just give it my all. You can bet on this. which is Golden Age Iron out in Vancouver, Washington. It's got a little dumbbell area and some mirrors, so that's exciting. And then it's a warehouse gym, but it has so much stuff, and it's open, and it's new and bright, so I'm really excited. Today is my second day training here, um, and so far I love it, and it's been a lot of fun. So this is where all my new videos will be at. So my last meet was um, about four weeks ago, and if you follow me, then you know that I did not perform the way that I wanted to, but Tony said that generally after a really bad meet, you tend to have a really good meet because you work extra hard to fix anything that went wrong, and he's right. Um, after that meet, I was ready to get back into the gym and work on the mistakes that I had made, and um, since then, I feel like training has been going really well. I feel the strongest that I've ever felt, so I'm looking forward to getting on the platform. Um, for the U.S. Open, Tony is competing on Saturday, and then I compete on Sunday. So this peaking week um, has been a little bit different. So today, Thursday, is going to be my last um, little workout session, just doing really light work with all three of the lifts and just um, really get moving and getting some blood flow to my muscles. I also wanted to touch on what some of my plans are after the U.S. Open. So Tony and I leave today, we get back on Monday, and then we're home for a week and we are actually heading to Hawaii the following Monday for an entire week. And that's going to be just for vacation, so I'm looking forward to that. And then when we get back from Hawaii, um, a few weeks to a month after that, I should be starting my contest prep for my pro debut in September for figure. Um, so Tony and I have a really busy year planned, like I've mentioned in some past videos. So going into the US Open, I've been increasing my calories at least the past couple of weeks, um, which is kind of nice. And then after the US Open, I'm going to continue that. So I've got to kind of get right back on a quote unquote diet, but obviously I'll be increasing calories versus taking them away. Um, and then probably cut out my cardio or at least cut it down. I'm not doing too much. I only do about 20 minutes three to four times a week. So it's really not bad at all. Um, and then just work on bringing my calories up. That way when I start my contest prep, I have um, calories to pull from, and then my cardio will be low, so I'll be able to add in cardio. 
Um, I really want to make sure that I'm starting my contest prep for my pro debut in the best position that I can. Um, so depending on where I'm at, I may or may not start my contest prep um, when I want to because obviously I want to bring my best to my pro debut. I don't want to just diet away um, the muscle that I worked so hard to gain these past uh, almost two years. So we shall see. David at the dentist screaming, run tell that homeboy, I'm next level. I'm Mike Tyson. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tune in for the U.S. Open live stream. <laughs> Bye.